Bessie, close the door. What, do you live in a barn? Holy smokes, what is wrong with you people? <laughs> so welcome back to Minecraft Vex Super Hostile Mod Pack. We're picking up where we left off here. Um, we are going to build a barn today so we can get all the barn animals out of the house and into a barn. Who is this guy? Lightning Rays. Hi. Uh, hey. Did you shoot me? Something happened. Uh, I don't know. That was weird. <laughs> Did a lightning, lightning feller drop anything? I don't see anything. Um, anyway, so we got the worm outside here. We got uh, the big, big, big D, big DW, big dubs, and we got little dubs inside the house. Little dubs can probably live in the house, but big dub, big dubs has to move out. I don't think he's gonna fit in the barn though. Um, the barn's gonna be for the barn animals. <laughs> and I wonder if uh, is, does Bobby qualify as a barn animal? I mean, she's half cow, right? Uh, I don't know. That is a, that is up for debate. We'll see. Maybe she can spend half her time in the house and half her time in the barn. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, let's get started here. I got this great barn build in my head, and we're going to do it right here after I drink some Wawa. And I got all the materials. I think I have all the materials. Some is still being cooked. Uh, we're going to be using a stone roof. We're making a stone roof with stone bricks, and we're going to use this lovely spruce uh, logs here. Um, and yeah, it's going to be, I think like four by four cells, cells, <laughs> do they call them cells, paddocks? <laughs> and we'll have a, uh, I think we're going to have a connection right here. So we can go to the barn, into the house, um, right here through a hallway type thing, right? And then, uh, I think a roost up on the roof so we can fly right to it with our new hippogriff who we are calling Becca Beak. Becca Beak. Ow! Hey! What the? Dang it. Somebody shot me. Oh, I don't like you little stinkers. Alright, we gotta kill this guy before... Whoa! Incoming! I mean, they're tough. Tougher than they look. Alright, we got him. Ooh. Wait, what do we get? We got something? Let's go down here and collect it. That was weird. I don't know. We got something out of that. Um, alright. Now, maybe we can get this done. Oh, we got meat. We got a little bit of meat here. A ball of meat. It looks like a meatball. <laughs> From a poisonous ant or something. Very strange. Okay. Maybe we'll get this uh, We'll get this barn build started sometime today. And why am I so thirsty all of a sudden again? All right. Let's drink some more water. I just went into the desert for like two seconds. All right. Anyway, let's get started on our barn build. Um, here's what we're going to do. We are going to go up... One, two, three, four, and five. But I think what I'm going to do here, the fifth is going to be like so. Um, we're going to have this as like a cross beam. Can I get that in there? It's going to hurt when I fall. Um, oh, I did. I got it. <laughs> okay, perfect. I meant to do that. <laughs> two, three, four. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and then over here, we're going to go up. One, two, and three. Don't have to climb it. We're going to have an angled or slanted roof. And then we're going to have four spaces. Again, one, two, and three. All right, so that's kind of the basic idea. And then the paddocks themselves will be one, up, two, three, four. And then this is going to go this way, but we got to get rid of that guy. Uh, whoop, what the heck? And this is going to go all the way across. So this is just to give you an idea of what it's going to be like. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, like that all the way over and we're gonna have like i said the hallway here so one do one two three for the hallway and then maybe just one two for the hallway yeah maybe just one two for the hallway the hallway doesn't have to be that big right kind of want to get as many paddocks in here as we can possibly get we don't have that many farm animals but we're probably going to collect more eventually so we shall do it this way and then one two three and four and then here right yeah What's the matter? What's the matter, Big big Dubs? Big Dubs has a bellyache or something. Something's going on there. Maybe he's hungry. I don't know what Big Dubs eats. Probably little things. Little creatures. Here comes the rain. Dag nabbit. Alright. Cool. So, I'm just going to go ahead and frame this whole thing. It looks like we're going to need a lot more wood, huh? Holy cow. And here comes the storm, as usual. That figures. That figures. But, oh... Look who's back. It's a lightning wraith. The same guy? Get him, big, big Dubs. Big Dubs is giving him a tail whip. 
<laughs> I'm going to let Big Dubs go, and I think Big Dubs might actually attack this guy. Whoa, what is happening here? Everybody's coming out in the rain. Oh my gosh, we got this thing. Ah, what is that thing? Kill it. It's a banshee. Oh, I got to get out of here. Got to get out of here. Why am I so super thirsty, too? Man, I'm getting thirsty really fast for some reason. I'm not sure why. Wolf, get inside. Oh, you guys. No, in. In, 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 in. That banshee's going to go right through the... Banshee can go right through walls, by the way. So this could be bad. Ah, here she comes. Run out the back. Oh, my God. Did she just blow something up? Whoa, wow. Where are we? Oh, my gosh. She's tough. Oh, whoa. She's shooting fireballs at me. She better not have wrecked my house. I'd be very, very upset. And she's lifting me up. All right, we got to go. And I'm thirsty. Why am I so thirsty? What is going on here? Get on the thing and fly. Up, 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 up and away. All right, maybe we can outfly her. Holy smokes. All right, I think we lost her. I gotta get down. I'm, I think I'm dying of thirst. Sheesh. What is happening here? I need water. I don't have any water. I gotta go drink out of a river. If I can land somewhere safe. All right, let me off. Let me off. I gotta drink. A free hand. Holy smokes, what is going on? Great. Now it's nighttime. Now it's nighttime. <laughs> uh, there's that banshee. Is it the same one? Holy smokes, where the heck did she come from? I think she might have shot a hole in the in our house, too. Visibility is super bad right now. Let's go fly around the other side of the house and see if there's a hole there. We gotta go to sleep. Okay, no home. That's good. The two doggos are sitting outside, though. They snuck out the little hatch. I left the hatch open, I guess. Oh, there she is. Is that her? No, that's a Bernie bro. All right, let's go. Let's go find a place to sleep somewhere relatively safe. My gosh! All of a sudden, all heck broke loose. It's all Vex's fault. He's turning up the heat. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep right here. Good night, Becca Beak. Oh boy, there's a bubbly, fubbly. Um, creeper right there, too. Hopefully he doesn't see us. You don't see anything, buddy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. Up, 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 and away. And I love having wings. It is so nice to have some wings. All right, now. I don't think the banshees disappear in the night. Uh, in the day. So, she still may be here. But we gotta get this barn done. Jeez, can a guy just build a barn? That's all I want to do. There's a dude over there checking out my barn. He must be the building inspector. <laughs> He's with the zoning board. <laughs> All right. We got a gate. We got a gate. Okay, let's get back to it. You guys have to go inside. Actually, you know what you can do? Ragna. Oh, gosh. Don't fall down in the hole. Oh, no. You guys do not belong in Fight Club. You got to move. Let's close that. Oh, you are right in the way. You little. I'm going to have to take this down. I got to do something about this because it's just not working. There we go. All right, close that. Open the door. Get the doggies over here. Come on. Yep, yep, whoop. Going after the building, Inspector. <laughs> Get him, guys. Listen, we make up our own rules around here about building where we can build. So beat it. You are that. You're a good boy. Ragnar and Lagatha. It's like the olden days. All right, you two, follow me. Holy cow. All right, you two, sit and stay. <sighs> All right, we're almost there, folks. Almost there. <laughs> now, let's get this out of my hands. And let's get back to work. Sheesh. Oh, I gotta get some water, too. Holy cow. All right, let me finish framing this thing out. And I'll be right back. One, two, three, four. And boom. Okay, I'm back. Whoa, ow. And we have, uh, we have company. We have company. I'm gonna try to see if, um, Big Dubs will attack this ant here. Ow. Big Dobbs, do something. Go get him. There we go. Good, good boy. Get him. Lick him. Lick him. He's trying to lick the ant. Oh, no. Don't wreck the ground. Oh, my gosh. I forgot that these things destroy terrain. Hey. <laughs> Big Dobbs alone. Big meaty. Got him. Look at this place. Look what you did. This is why we have... 
Big Dub's tied up right now, so he doesn't make a mess around here. <laughs> he did destroy the front yard. I had to level it out again. It's just grass. No big deal. I can fix that. But we are going to have to find a home for Big Dub's here. Um, little Dub's, like I said, can stay in the house. Oh, I, I know what you want. Go ahead and take it. Go on. All friends around here. What'd you get? Took the flint, right? All right, so it's all framed out. In fact, I did change this. I widened this to make all of the, the paddocks the same. Hey, what's going on here? <laughs> Big Dubs kick some dirt over here. Um, so now, yeah, we have all of the three cells of the same size. Um, and we'll just make a, we'll make a passageway through to this cell. Look at the dirt everywhere. Man, Big Dubs, you are a mess, kid. Uh, however, I have run out of wood. We have a lot of points to spend here, don't we? 37 skill points. So that's something we're going to want to do pretty soon. Timber! Oh gosh, please, I don't want to have to go over to that ant hill. There we go. But we want to put the stone brick down here at the base. So let's get rid of the torches. And put this just like so. I'm going to go all the way around and in between probably as well. I'm pretty sure we're not going to have enough, so let's get some more cooking up. All right. So let's uh, just fill in all the gaps all the way around. And then we'll get working on the walls and the roof. Okay. So now on in the interior, I guess we'll do the same. We'll do stone between the paddocks. And this is why we're going to go through a lot of stone. Um, and we're going to have gates, obviously, so the animals can get in and out. We'll have a pair of gates so the uh, the chunkier ones can get in and out because they do tend to get stuck in the small gates, don't they? Oh, I thought I saw something. It's just my breath. <laughs> and, yeah, we need just a couple more real quick here. Boom and boom. And whip them up. Golf clap. And then there, and there, and that should do it. I think that's all the big bricks we're gonna need. And the rest are gonna be used for the uh for the rooftop. Alright, let's grab our oak and oak fencing and spruce fence gates and spruce fence and see how this looks, because I don't have any idea. <laughs> this is all just a barn design in my head. I have made barns in the past, but that was many, many moons ago, and I don't believe it was like this. But how hard can a barn be, right? I hear something moving around. Is that just me? Look at all these holes here. What are these craters from? Yeah, every once in a while you hear like a random explosion, and they come out here in the morning and you find these holes. Hopefully our house doesn't get blown up randomly <laughs> for no good reason. <laughs> uh, anyway, all right, let's have the windows here like so, and I think we're going to go right across like these and we're going to put the the um the the roof on so let's put something in the windows i'm just curious how this is going to look i'd like to have some spruce fence gates in here and also some regular spruce oh man here comes the rain again sheesh what is this seattle uh dang it don't like the rain that's when all the bad things come out because it gets dark yeah, see, so we can open the windows so the animals can breathe. <laughs> Stick their head out, get some fresh air. <laughs> yeah, and then on this side, um, we'll probably do something similar. We don't have to have double windows everywhere, but, you know, maybe a little a little window like this. And we can just do some spruce. I'm not really sure how the interior is going to be yet. I'm going to focus on the exterior now, and then we can... Um, we can do the inside later. Keep hearing things. I keep hearing things. It's just me. I think what we'll do is let's put that there. And we're going to put a roof on. It's going to be a little bit of an overhang, obviously. And then we're going to need some scaffolding here, I think. And we're going to do something like this. Right, whoop. Yep. Something like that. Or maybe not quite like that. You squat down like that and then up again and then out and then again up and over here what are we going to do here what are we going to do here well first of all we need a cross cross beam oh, 
Put this right here. Like that. Again, I keep hearing stuff. I'm not sure what. Oh, I'm getting cold. I'm getting cold in the rain. I don't know what season it is, but I think um I think it's starting to be maybe a colder season. Seems that way, but we're gonna have to go warm up. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to make some wool clothing. I'm pretty sure I can do that. I'll just sleep it off. Yeah, you know why it's cold? Because of the uh because it's nighttime. Nighttime is falling, so we gotta get inside. Grab some berries. And we'll go inside and sleep. Whew. Warm up in here. We can turn up the heat inside. Oh. Almost done. Almost oh. done, cows and horses and everything else. It's gonna be moving into the barn. Not sure about the dogs. I guess dogs can live in the house, right? Oh, good. The rain stopped. Yay. Oh, get that guy. Get that guy. Don't use a sword. It's a waste. Sugar canes. Neat. Yeah, it's like opening a box of uh, Cracker Jacks. <laughs> uh, those things. You never know what you're going to get. So it's a mystery. A little potluck. All right. Um, let's get the stone back out here. And we're just going to go... I think we're just going to go across right here. I guess we can use... Hold on. Let's use the full size here. I'm going to end up being full size anyways. Uh... Whoop, no! Yep. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. <laughs> My parkour skills in action. Very, very good. Alright, now. Now we come back down and do the other side. We'll have a second floor, right? And maybe even a passageway from my second floor in the house to the second floor here. And we'll have a roost for the uh, for the hippogriff. Becca beak. Good old Becca beak. So let's, let's fill this in. And maybe we'll go up. Let's see. Let's go up one. And we'll have maybe a little window here. There we go. There we go. All right. So that's a big, large window. <laughs> And I suppose we could fly right in with uh, with Becca, Becca Beak, right? Yeah, so maybe it won't be open air. We can fly right in and then have a nice cozy nest inside. Not exactly sure yet. Not exactly sure. Ah, I'm down. And I fell. But let's get the roof up here and just see how that looks real quick. Man, thirsty. It's funny how you get so thirsty sometimes and then other times you're not thirsty at all. Hi, buddy. How we doing? Are you the new building inspector? <laughs> I think we have the new building inspector here. Yeah, he looks like uh, he looks like a construction guy. He knows what he's talking about. These dwarves. All right, let's go up a little bit here, and we'll get the roof on. Okay, there we go. I think that's the basics. Um, let's go down and have a look. Got to get rid of all my scaffolding here, and then we'll uh, we'll step back and have a look. And then I think what I might do is just fill it all out off camera. Just the roof and the walls and all that. Now that you have a basic idea of what it's going to look like. So, yeah, essentially we're just going to keep going right along here with the uh, with the roof. It's going to continue with the same pattern, essentially. So I'm going to have to get rid of that there. And then, boom. Right all the way down to the other end. So, yeah, it should take... A little bit of time for me to accomplish this, but I will do it off camera because it's going to be painful like that. See? There we go. Yeah. Just like so. It's going to require a lot of stone, so I'm probably going to have to cook up some more stone brick. But that's, in general, what that's going to look like here. Whoa. Becca? Was that Becca? I don't think that was Becca. Becca doesn't screech like that. Becca's quiet. Oh, we've got a haunted tool here. Checking out <laughs> the build. <laughs> All right, let's step back and have a peek. That looks pretty good. I mean, it's an empty shell at the moment, but once we fill it out, it's going to look pretty darn good, if you ask me. And I'll come up with some kind of a roof and roost um, idea up there. Now, for the front, again, I'm not really sure exactly what we're going to do here. From the, I don't know if I'm going to do... Uh, posts, probably posts, maybe, but we're going to have to have gates here as well, and I'm all out of gates at the moment, but, uh, two gates here, right? In the front, um, <laughs> right? And then in, in between, maybe we'll have, we'll have, uh, fencing so all the little farm animals can chat with one another. 
Because they are social creatures. And then I'm going to blast through here and have a little doorway. So I can come and go as I please. So, yeah. That, my friends, is the barn. At least the idea of it. I just have to fill it in. So, again, I'll do that off camera. I'm going to have to do some more collecting of materials and making more stone. And all that fun stuff. But I will get that done. And then we shall reconvene. So, stay tuned. I'll be right back. What's up? Do you have papers for me to sign or something? Did I pass inspection? Eh. I don't know. You don't talk much. <laughs> oh, I thought the dog was in the fire. You warming up by the fire, buddy? We gotta change your collar colors, don't we? Let's do that right now. We had Lagatha. Lagatha had a yellow collar. And Ragnar had a pink collar, right? From the pink sheep clan. <laughs> so you are now Ragnar. And you are Lagatha. And I'm just gonna have to get some um, some name tags. Look at the tongues coming out. It's a different animation. Let's see it. Oh man, don't clam up. There it is. Oh, that's adorable. That is adorable. Yeah, we gotta get some name tags so we can name our critters. We got a horse with no name here. That's not cool. Uh, why is there a hole in my floor? <laughs> and why is there a dwarf in my house? What is going on here, sir? I thought you were the building inspector to check on the uh, on the barn, not the house. Um, I don't need a permit for the house. It's already done, as you can see. Hi, Bobby. <laughs> oh, 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 two building inspectors. Oh, my gosh. What is going on? Something is happening here. Can you guys please leave? You are not welcome here. Go check the barn. Um, anyway, I don't know what happened. It looks like we had an explosion or something. Or maybe, maybe this is from B-dub, uh, B-dubs? Big dubs. <laughs> B-dubs. Yeah, oh, oh, right out the window. There he goes, right out the window. How the heck did he do that? Uh, all right, I gotta fix this up because this is not, not good. There's another building inspector. They are everywhere, aren't they? All right, that's better. And we gotta fix Bobby here. I don't know what happened to Bobby. Bobby, stand still. Got you covered. There we go. This thing does not do a lot of healing per shot, does it? <laughs> And it sure is expensive, but she's worth it. Um, we're going to have a little skyway going from the house over to the barn. Right to the roost area. So check it out. Doesn't that look nice? It's not done, obviously. I still have to finish up some of the rooftops. And the interior design has to be completed. But overall, that is the basic um, structure. And this is going to be perfect. We can fly right in and out here. Look at that. It's about to fall. Man, you are so fast. Hard to control. <laughs> All right, easy does it. Er, hit the brakes. We might need a longer runway. We might need a longer runway, huh? I'm just gonna have to do. All right, let's let's get back into the house, and um, we're gonna go and get the skyway done. We're gonna need more glass because I want to make a glass skyway. I think it's gonna look amazing. We only have ten sand, huh? Oh boy. All right, well let's cook up that ten sand. Better than nothing. We might have to go out and get some more sand. Which isn't a problem since we have a desert right next door. Now let's get on up here. Now we're going to bust right through here and let's see where it takes us. Oh, I was off kilter just a tiny, tiny bit. But I think what we're going to do is just go straight across here. Um, should we use... What color should we use? I think I want to stick to the same pattern or design with the, uh, with the floor. So we're just going to go... We're going to keep this part... Um, oak, right? And then we'll put a a uh, spruce roof over it. Now we're going to need a lot more of that. Excuse me. Building inspector is still in here. <laughs> inspector Clyde. That's what we're going to call him. He looks like a Clyde. Man, not only do we have farm animals living in our house, but now we have the local dwarves moving in. Don't you be licking those dwarves. What's he licking over here now? Stop it. Big dubs. Quit it. Big dubs. We got. We need a place for big dubs to move into, obviously. All right, this is gonna have to go. I'm gonna have this go straight over, sort of, and then we're gonna have to come up at some point. Boom and boom. Yeah, we can climb right on up. All right, we'll fill in all those little gaps later. <laughs> come on over. You want to check it out? <laughs> Man, these dwarves—they find every little hole, don't they? <laughs> Holy smokes, they are good at their jobs. 
Now we want to do a spruce wood slab over the top. Um, I'm not sure how high we should go. Let's well, let's do the f the walls first. So the walls are going to be oak stairs, I think. But we're going to have to start with a square one. Let's um, let's get rid of this. It's going to be a little bit of trial and error here until I get it right, uh, like that. And then I want this to be. Stay. Oh, no, 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 not like that. The other orientation, please. There we go. I think you can see where we go with this, right? All right, I think. I think we're looking good. Okay, so that's that. Now the glass is going to go right here. And I want to use full size glass chunks instead of the panes. I think it'll look nicer on a skyway. I, mean, I could be wrong. I don't know. We're going to do it this way. Because that's how I wanted to do it. Let's go grab some more glass. We definitely have enough. Beep, beep. Oh my gosh. I can't finish this barn soon enough. All right, there we go. So that is done. And now, and now it's getting dark. Slime's going to go right across. Oh, oh, get those, get those. Get them. I got crystal flowers out of one of those, actually, which is pretty nice. So you got to get them every time they come by. All right, and then this is going to be like, no, 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 not like that. I guess we can just place it down like that. Yes, that's much easier. All right, now we run across like so, and I am getting hungry. But uh, yeah, that's going to look great. Although I think I'm going to lift this up a little bit so we can get the level effect from far away. Oh, I hear an owl. That's cool. Yeah, let's see how that looks. I mean, obviously, I gotta clean this up a little bit, but I just wanna see how this looks from far away. I think that's gonna be tremendous. I'm getting inside. And we'll run this all the way over. Dang it, need more slabs. I'm gonna jump into bed real quick. All right, it is now morning. I have more slabs, and this should go all the way over right there, and we'll put that there. And then we're gonna do this side, and here comes here comes Clyde. There goes Clyde. I guess he's not that interested after all. <laughs> okay. All right, it looks beautiful. We just have to finish this right here, and I should probably switch to first person so I don't mess it up, because this is my last bit of glass. <laughs> and there we go. We now have a beautiful skyway to the barn. Look at this, guys. We've got beautiful view on both sides. It's relatively safe. <laughs> I think we're safe in there unless uh, Big Dubs gets any ideas and starts licking things. And then we can just fill this up over here. I don't know what I'm going to do yet with the rest of the roost. But, um, yeah, this is... Well, that's going to have to go. But I think we're done. I think we're done with this, at least for the time being. I'm going to have to fill it all in and finish this side, obviously, which is not complete. But we can start moving in the uh, moving barn animals over. Check that out. That looks really cool. Yes, it works. I love it. it matches up nicely over here. The roof. Whoa, wow. Oh, we got shot. Dang it. Shh. Can you hear it? Silence. It's glorious. The silence is deafening. <laughs> no more cows. No more horses. No more mooing. No more uh, neighing. But we do have we do have wolves. But but they're house pets, right? Right, Ragnar? Of course. So yeah, let's check it out. Let me show you what I've done here. I did finish it. And I moved everybody over. We'll take the Skyway right on over here, and we'll do a flyby. Come on, Becca Beak. Hopefully we don't get shot by anything this time around. And look at that. Isn't it glorious? I completed the roof, and I finished up the cells. Can we fly right in there? Can you, can you squeeze in there? Maybe we can walk through. Let's do a walk through. Can you fit? Yes, perfect. We got plenty of headroom in here. <laughs> we got the two horses over here. We got the two cows on that side, and all the other paddocks are completely empty at this time. But uh, we'll get some more animals to move in there. Pigs and sheep, etc. And I moved big dubs back here. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to push because he was wreaking havoc on the uh, on the on the grounds over here. So we moved him back a little bit. And we'll build up a pen for him eventually. I'm not sure exactly where or what it's going to be. Maybe here in front. Oh, there's one of those shooters. Get out of there. Get out of there. 
Don't want to get poisoned. And we have a, uh, a double-sided runway here. You can go in either way. There's not much in here right now. But we can um, we can spruce it up a little bit. Ow! Dang it, that hurt. That wasn't funny. Not funny, Becca. Not funny. Um, yeah, so I made a bunch of glass here so we can look out, see all the beautiful sights. And I think we're done. I think we are done here for now, folks. Just wanted to come back and show it to you in all its glory when it was done. I do have to fix this up a little bit, though. I'll think of something. And by the way, I lost little, little, little dubs. I think he's a goner. I found some pieces of him anyway. Yeah, little dubs fell down here in the fight club. And this is all that's left. Red Deathworm Chitin. He wasn't red, which is weird, but pretty sure that's what happened to him. I don't see him in here anymore. So I'm guessing we lost little little dubs. We'll have to get another little dubs. He was kind of cute. Bobby was very partial to him. Uh, anyway, that's it for now. For really, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.